The original Xbox was a great system, but now it is showing its age. And in this video I will teach you how to fix the dirty disk read error. This is what happened during one of our recent live streams. You can tell that the disk actually is unreadable and it shuts down the Xbox to the default menu. You'll need some isopropyl alcohol 99%, you'll need a Torx screwdriver or a flat top screwdriver. Just unscrew the screw here. You'll see some hidden screws underneath the two labels as shown. And then when you have all the screws removed, you can go ahead and take the clamshell off the top of your Xbox. And it'll show you the inside. So we've got a ribbon cable. We can go ahead and we remove that from the hard drive and the CD drive. We'll unscrew our screws here on the side. And then we'll take the top off. Once the top's removed, we have access to the inside of our system. The two things we're looking at here is the spinner, the motor. You can see there's a little bit of dirt deposit, and we can also see our laser assembly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol on the outside of the laser, but not to hit the lens. We're making sure we don't hit the lens here. Just clean up everything you can. You'll see a lot of dust. Go ahead and give everything a little wipe to your isopropyl. That'll evaporate quickly. We're going to do the same thing with the, uh, the motor, the spinner. Just around the edges here and the top of the steel. There we go. This is nice and clean. Keep going. Give it a good wipe. Make sure it's got, a, you know, make sure it's nice and clean. Use your Q-tip. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to use the dry side of the Q-tip, not the isopropyl. And we're going to gently, in a circular motion, clean the lens. Just go back and forth for a little bit, make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure you don't leave any um, Q-tip residue on there. So just do what I'm doing, just kind of go back and forth a little bit. All right, so we've got that done. We're going to put the system back together, snap that back in place. Put the screws in place here again. Go ahead and put your ribbon cable back on. Make sure it's nice and secure in that little plastic clip that's behind that. And go ahead and snap your Xbox back together. Kind of a scary sound, I know. Now go ahead and put your screws back in place. There should be uh, six screws on the bottom, and here we are. Now we've got our system up and running. No issues with disk skip or dirty disk. And uh, yeah, hope that helped. Let us know in the comments.